Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. And uh, you know, welcome to the session, which is on you know social media skills. I'm sure you know everyone, all of us, we are using different forums, uh, social media forums, social media you know, websites, app. So my session actually talks about using it for you know professional advantage. And before I start, you know, I'll uh, I'll give my introduction as well. And you know, it's first of all, it's a pleasure to be here and talking on this HR Success Talk forum. And thank you, Govind, for you know inviting me once again. And uh, <clears throat> so this is my introduction. So basically, I'm an HR professional with say 17 years of experience now, industry experience, and I worked in India as well as outside India. Uh, Qualification wise, you know, uh, I'm a master's in human resource and administration. I've done, you know, a course in uh, international business as well from Symbasis. Uh, my Twitter handle, uh, which is being HR, at the rate being HR, uh, makes me, you know, one of the top 100 HR professionals who are influencing social media in India. So that's the status for the last two years, uh, as of now at least. So I'm happy with that status. And in past, you know, I worked with companies like, you know, Philips Electronics, uh, Coca-Cola, Cargill India. Presently, I am associated with Uflex. And, uh, you know, other than, other than, you know, my HR professional interest, uh, my role, you know, I am also a certified trainer on a couple of subjects. Uh, so, for example, which includes, you know, total compensation management, total reward management. I've been, you know, in-house trainer on uh, subjects like, you know, performance management. Right. Then, uh, my interest, you know, include a lot many things actually. You know, so uh, this is like, you know, I'm into daily healing, I'm into, you know, uh, drawing cartoons and, you know, Deepthi is always uh, behind me for, you know, uh, draw some, some more cartoons for the website as well. Then, uh, I like to, you know, travel, spend time on social media forum. And uh, so, cricket, cars, you know, not many interests are there. So, uh, in my presentation, you know, I'm going to talk about uh, this social media and its background. Uh, then, you know, world of social media, how big is the world of social media which is already there, technology, which is there. Then, uh, social media, some of the interesting facts which we have. Then, uh, Uses of social media by organizations, so how organizations are using it and how you can take the advantage of social media. Some of the useful tips, some of the pro tips which are there on social media sites. And then, you know, a couple of uh, questions which you can ask yourself so that you become, you know, local with social, social media. Right? And then, you know, of course, everything has a flip side, uh, going for narrating an interesting, you know, incident of office. So there is a flip side of social media as well. So there are side effects of uh, social media. So that's something I'm going to touch upon. And then, you know, let's stay connected. If you have any question, you can ask in between the session or uh, after the session. And please feel free to, you know, use your mobile during the session. This is one of the rare sessions where, you know, the, uh, the facilitator or the person who's presenting say that, please use your mobile, please use your, you know, uh, social network, please visit. You know, Twitter handle, Facebook, anything you want to visit. So you can, you know, uh, try all the tips live. Okay, so before I start, you know, you can clear your mind, uh, fresh up, you know, open a fresh browser page in your mind itself. And uh, then you can, you know, navigate through all your social media accounts. Uh, mobiles, absolutely, you can keep it on silent mode, but you can use it. So with this, I, I start my session, right? So what was social media, right? So, you know, it's basically the technology platform. It's an interaction leveraging the technology. So that's there. And uh, for example, this live session is also an example in itself that we are, you know, leveraging technology where, you know, I'm talking about social media itself and the session is on, session is live, okay? And this social media again, you know, helps you build relationship, share information, get the information, interact with the people online. So that's a, that's the social media, how I define it. So 
it's a medium to leverage technology and uh, it's meant for you know exchanging information knowledge uh, asking questions interacting with people and connecting with them okay so the background if you look at so vintage social media you know when you look at uh, a typical work desk earlier how it used to look like so you will find that you know uh, all the social media networking sites uh, which we are using now is like you know linkedin pinterest instagram or for that matter twitter wordpress facebook uh, skype all these things you know were present with us but in a different form so uh, something like you know a, a telephone was uh, only meant for voice call now it is replaced by uh, an audio and video call right so that that's always there twitter for example when you look at this uh, post it um, which has a limited space so on twitter as well you have like 140 characters to write your status update and then just post it so it's just, just like that only so instagram like you know your classic photograph which is there uh, post there is uh, just to find out about the places in the world and you can check in uh, using you know uh, this website uh, when you look out from your window when you see from your window it's like a youtube only live like uh, so all these things were in existence now it is supported digitally okay and world of social media you know there are n number of you know websites platform which are available a uh, number of applications which are there but i am you know talking about couple of your know, popular ones so linkedin we all know that okay it's, it's meant for networking and more to do with the professional networking facebook is typically used for you know personal networking personal connections but nowadays there are there is a very thin line people are using you know facebook also for professional users and you know uh, when you when you see the design of these websites linkedin or facebook more or less you know they give similar options like okay post your photograph tag your friends uh, you can mention about someone so they they give you know similar kind of an option there is a thin line between you know say facebook linkedin but this is still uh, linkedin is uh, is still for your know, professional networking twitter is a micro blogging site uh, i'm sure uh, you must be using it so it's a micro blogging and then there is a Uh, blogging, which is there. So, blogging gives you, you know, lots of freedom and space to write, uh, express in detail. Whereas uh, Twitter, it gives you very, you know, limited space uh, to express yourself. So, it's very to the point, no filth. Instagram is of course for imaging, the classic uh, images which you can post. Tumblr, WordPress, Blogger, these are the social blogging sites which are very popular one. Then uh, of course, Quora, which is very popular website to ask question and answer. I'm sure some of you must be using it. And uh, then of course there are some fun messaging sites like Snapchat. Uh, then you know there are a couple more sites which are like you know Pinterest and SoundCloud, for example, for audio. Right? Uh, there are a couple of sites which are meant for you know designers, uh, for food lovers, critics. So those sites are uh, are there. And when you see there are last four names when you look at on this particular slide, uh, uh, <clears throat> there are countries where you know these sites are not uh, available, accessible. So they have come up with, for example, in China, they have come up with you know their own websites to replace like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. So these are the names of you know their websites uh, which are there. So interestingly, for example, YouTube is not. Available in some of the countries, so they have come up with their own website to uh, give those social media, you know, uh, platform to the people there. Okay, uh, so everyone is, you know, uh, using the technology. Everyone is, uh, you know, when you look at uh, internet users, so there are, you know, uh, it looks like you know everyone is online, and on an average. 5.5 social media accounts is something uh, each individual they manage. That's the number. Uh, everyone is using technology. For example, uh, you can look at this interesting picture, a cartoon, which is there. Okay. Uh, doctors are using medical practitioners. They are using you know technology. I think I should come this side maybe. Yeah. 
and there is a thin line between you know online buying and offline buying, which is there. And 4.5 billion internet users and mobile service uh, is available to 90% of you know uh, the world population which is there. And 87 countries are there right now who are using 4G technology. I'll explain to you you know social media with an interesting you know example. Uh, <coughs> we love to eat you know samosas, right? And uh, <coughs> so let me explain to you like you know. Why these websites are you know different from each other, and how the same activity or a status or an update can be different on these websites? So, for example, like on a on a Twitter website, your status will be like you know I am eating samosa, whereas you know uh, Facebook will be like I like samosa, so it will be different. Then you know YouTube is this is how I eat my samosa, so it will be describing like okay how you eat samosa, so it's a. Uh, Audio video there. Uh, LinkedIn will have like you know my skills include samosa eating skills as well. So whereas Instagram will, will say that you know there is a classic photograph of my samosa, and then vlog is like you know this is my samosa eating experience. So you'll be describing your experience. So now the sites are different. Pinterest, which is an infographic site, infographics. So you have information as well as the graphics combination. So here you will be like. Uh, here is my here is the samosa recipe. So you will be posting your recipe there. And Swam or for example Foursquare, so this is where I eat samosa. So you'll be checking into a that, uh, into a place and saying that you know this is where I am eating samosa. So, so this is how these websites are you know uh, different from each other. Yeah. Okay. Some of the you know interesting facts. Uh, LinkedIn, which started in May 2003. And uh, let me tell you, the best time to post an update on LinkedIn is 9 to 11 a.m. Because that's the time where you have maximum professionals logging onto uh, their website. So typically, you know, you can imagine like, okay, people, people are reaching office, they're logging onto, you know, LinkedIn. That's the time when they, uh, it has a, a highest traffic. And that's the best time to, you know, post an status update. So then you have, you know, 12 to 1 p.m. also considered as one of the best time to post you know, an update. So USA, India, and UK, these are the three countries which has got highest number of people LinkedIn users. So we are among the top three. Uh, already 2.6 lakh organizations are using LinkedIn pages for their, you know, uh, for promoting about their company. Uh, 10 lakh plus groups are there on LinkedIn for various discussions. So you can, you know, join uh, appropriate groups which interest you. And then there are, you know, 500 plus million users, and every two seconds, every sorry, two new members are joining every second to this particular website. So that's the you know, website which is there. 94% of the social recruiting is happening through LinkedIn. So recruiters who are using you know social media to recruit uh, talent from the industry, they out of them, like 94% of the people, they uh, use LinkedIn. Okay, coming to Twitter. So best time to you know tweet is uh, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Sorry. So this is the time uh, when the traffic is maximum. When you tweet, you can always check your uh, tweet by uh, you know going to that particular tweet. How many you know impressions that tweet has made uh, on the people? So you can go and always check that. Okay, how many people have viewed this uh, you know tweet? On how many people's screen this you know tweet was visible? So you can always check your uh, tweet. Uh, let me tell you, there is an interesting you know tweet uh, which was retweeted, uh, right? There was a guy, uh, which is uh, Carter is the name in US. So yeah. that person asked uh, this this Twitter handle, which is at the rate twenty, which is a you know. Uh, uh, it supplies you know chicken nuggets, burgers. So you know uh, that person asked, how many retweets you want to you know, supply me free burgers for the year? So they replied, okay, 18 million tweets. And let me tell you, you can check this uh, tweet. Uh, people are still retweeting it. And once you know that that person will reach 18 million tweets, they'll be getting a free supply for the year. 
So you know, you never know like you know what kind of the status will get you. You know, the response from the companies or uh, free service, for example. Okay. Um, when you look at you know number of retweets. Okay. This is uh, there was one Oscar selfie, which is the most retweeted you know photograph, uh, which is there. And if you look at you know uh, people with maximum number of followers there, so Katy Perry is with like 85 uh, million followers, which is there. The Sun Bible is, has got 77 million uh, you know followers. So that's the you know following people have on uh, Twitter. And there are two you know tweets I I would like to talk about, uh, which was again got you know lots of mention, lots of you know retweets in the history. When Barack Obama was re-elected as the president, and he tweeted four more years, if you remember that particular tweet, it was you know uh, retweeted maximum time. You must be wondering, okay, which tweet got you know maximum retweets in India? Uh, when you know Virat Kohli spoke about you know uh, Anushka Sharma uh, about the relationship, and people were you know criticizing Anushka Sharma uh, for you know. One of the match, one of the match, and where you know Virat Kohli was out on a low score. So then Virat Kohli you know, spoke about Anushka Sharma that she is a you know a positive force behind me, and she has been very positive for me. Uh, that particular tweet has got maximum retweets in India. So uh, that's there. And when you look at when you uh, look at you know hiring through Twitter, uh, and when you look at you know recruiters who are using Twitter as a source of hiring. 55% of the social recruitment is happening through Twitter. So, if you want to you know, uh, look for a change or something, uh, Twitter is one more place where you can find a job. And there are more than 51,000 jobs which are tweeted in a day. So, you know, gone are the days when you know people are only looking at like job portals. So, jobs are you know posted on uh, LinkedIn as well, Twitter as well. Uh, moving to next, which is like Facebook has got 750 plus million users. Best time to post is 3 pm and up to 8 pm. So that's the time. Best time you can utilize this particular time. Best days are also defined, and this is based on the traffic and you know impressions you make on social media. So it is uh, best day is considered as Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday is also not considered as a bad day to you know uh, post something. And when you post two updates or two comments in a day, you generate 71% more engagement with your connections. So, if you're active on Facebook, if you like Facebook, you know, uh, you need to update at least two uh, status updates on a, on a day or at least make two comments on the post. Right. And you'll be surprised to know that you know 65% of the social recruiting is happening through Facebook. And we must be thinking that okay, Facebook is for personal users, whereas you know 65% of the recruitment is happening through Facebook. Okay, some of the you know pro tips I'm uh, I'm sharing here is uh, you know on LinkedIn you can of course connect with uh, two to three people in a day. You can follow three three of the you know. Uh, companies or uh, companies per week or the thought leaders, uh, which you can do. Uh, three retweets, three tweets or two retweets a day, and uh, you can use this hashtag, which is basically meant for keyword search. Right? So you can always, you know, put your words with a hashtag, appropriate hashtag, so that you know uh, people who are searching on that particular topic, they find, you know. Uh, find you on Twitter, they, they get the relevant information from your tweet. And let me tell you, these job portals, uh, job sites are now, you know, are the complementary sites because companies are preferring social resumes over the uh, your traditional or conventional resume. So, you know, your social networking site, your social resume, uh, they act, you know, as a, as a resume now. Your social presence will act as a resume that okay, what this person is all about, what he does, uh, what kind of you know status updates this person has, and uh, what kind of you know skills this person has highlighted, uh, what kind of you know endorsement this person has. So that's something is very visible at one go on these uh, social media forums, right? 
uh, my social media you know, the site is not very 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 visible uh, i think but uh, let me tell you there are a couple of percentages which which say that you know uh, how the hr and uh, organization they are using social media so couple of things which uh, for which you know the organizations are using which is mentioned here so it includes like you know organizations are using social media for recruitment purposes showcasing their culture uh, you know connecting with the prospective candidate uh, connecting with you know staying connected with their uh, ex employees so they are using it they are also using for you know employee communication showcasing their showcasing their you know reward and recognition program so organizations are you know using social media for uh, their advantages now when it comes to you know gender uh, if <coughs> males are using more of social media or females are using more social media so when we look at the studies it says that you know uh, it is equal so there is no difference when it comes to gender uh, at workplace using social media okay so some more you know points uh, on social media and the uses by organization so employer employers are basically using it for the branding purposes to attract you know the talent uh, conducting opinion polls so this is something uh, something interesting like you know on twitter you will find that there are opinion polls going on and you know if you have some questions uh, you can always post it as a poll with four options on twitter and you can you know decide the time period uh, in which you know the respondents can reply on that particular you know, question and then you can get a reply that okay how many people support that particular option so polling is something if you want to take opinion of the people opinion of uh, you know employees you can use this and then of course showcasing your and promoting your work culture so that's there sharing your knowledge uh, audio video blogs is something you know organization they can they can post uh, the leaders you know they can always speak and then post their uh, blogs there okay and uh, social media is also for you know background checks about the employee and i have come across you know candidates uh, whose you know paper resume or the traditional resume says something else whereas uh, social media profile you know Talk something else. There are you know cases where uh, candidates they you know uh, do not show some of their employment and it's visible on their you know uh, LinkedIn account. So you can you know always find out those kind of you know uh, discrepancy. And of course, what is the opinion people have expressed regarding you know that particular candidate? You can read about it. Some of the top companies who are using you know social media are like Walmart, Home Depot, Pepsi, Disney, Starbucks, Google. So there are a good number of companies who have you know social media presence. They are you know actively and uh, engaging uh, people on their website. Okay. I'll continue with you know uh, on on this topic topic like which is uh, how organizations are using you know social media. So a couple of more points you know. Uh, you can always check accuracy and authenticity of the information about the candidate, about the person on their social media account, right? And you know, you can always check what kind of content this person is posting, what kind of you know opinion this person is expressing on a public domain, right? And employment history is of course professional skills. What kind of skills is endorsed for that? Uh, individual can be checked. Uh, what kind of uh, recommendations are written by this person and that person has received? Right? So that it's very visible and in public domain nowadays. Okay, so you know I'll be talking about three websites uh, quickly. Is uh, first one is LinkedIn. So you know it is always recommended for all of you to have you know your profile hundred percent complete. At times, you know, people they do not, uh, you know, put photograph. They do not put, you know, their complete name. There some of the information are missing. For example, qualification or location. So you know, uh, one of the things is to have hundred percent complete uh, profile. And you know, LinkedIn it gives you 
that indicator that how much you know percentage your profile is complete. Yeah. So you know LinkedIn is one of the forums which showcases you as a as a as a person to the professional world. And for example, when you put your you know professional photograph on LinkedIn with a proper tagline, and if someone search you on uh, uh, on the LinkedIn or your visibility, if I talk about you know your profile's visibility, it is eleven times more when you have you know a headline as well as a professional photograph. So that's an advantage. Uh, always list down you know your summary skills. Because LinkedIn gives you, you know, all these, you know, options to write, and some of the keywords which people, you know, look for. For example, if you look for this statistical analysis, data mining, and cloud, these are the top three skills which are searched globally. These are the top three, you know, words which are searched globally. So, if your profile has got these three words, chances are, you know, your profile will be searched, and it will be always on the top. Then highlight your achievements. You can always post regarding you know your uh, achievements, awards which you have received. Uh, build your network, review and clean your contact. I'm sure people must be doing it already. Then uh, let people know what you are looking for because when you create your account, you get an option. Uh, why why are you there on this particular forum? Because are you a job seeker? Are you here to give expert opinion? So that's something you can you know. Uh, Select so that you know appropriate people they reach to you. If you are there on the website on on for example on LinkedIn for searching job, I like that. So it will show you as a job applicant to all other you know uh, people in your network. Okay, include recommendation, endorsement, and uh, it is always advisable that you know uh, when you ask others to <coughs> others for the recommendation, always return, always do the favor of you know writing them back. As well, uh, join the group, appropriate group, and the discussion. And stay active. That's that's you know uh, one of the important uh, element which is there uh, when you when you have presence on social media. You can always check you know your your profile visitors. Who are the people who are visiting the statistics? Um, from which industry people are reaching out to you? So that's something you can always check, review, right? Post your blogs. Um, of course, there are blogging sites which are meant for you know, blogging purposes, but you can always post your blogs uh, on LinkedIn as well. And you can follow the leaders, follow relevant companies. You know, uh, if you look at this third point, which is a very important one, LinkedIn gives you you know option to connect with the people, and it gives you the name, and you just click the connect button, and the message is sent. It's always advisable that you send a customized message when you are, you know, contacting someone because you are making a first impression when you are sending uh, that invite. You can always write, uh, "Dear so and so," and what is the purpose you are connecting with that that person? So that's an opportunity to, you know, send a personalized, you know, message to someone. Uh, same happens with uh, the birthday wishes or the anniversary wishes. You can always write down the name of the person and then send that uh, wishes. Otherwise, it's like happy birthday. Done. So it's not customized. It doesn't have a personal touch. And if required, you know, you can always use the premium services if you want uh, on this website. Uh, coming to Twitter, so let's tweet. So make an interesting data, which is like an elevator speech, right? So elevator speech is uh, is is you know for a few seconds. Like if you get into an elevator and if you want to have a conversation with someone. Uh, whom you always wanted to meet, interact, and if you find that person also in the elevator, how you know briefly you will you know speak with the person because in an elevator you must be going to some floor, you must be going to a, uh, another floor, so your conversation will be very short, right? So that that is referred as an elevator speech. So your bio data on Twitter is 180 characters, so that's the limit you have. How well you will describe yourself in 180 characters? So you need to, you know, <coughs> make your bio very interesting uh, there on Twitter. It's like an elevator speech. Then uh, next is of course have a pleasant professional photograph with, <coughs> with real name, which should be uh, visible. 
do hashtag uh, search and you know you can always be uh, <coughs> you can be always part of the, the chat various chats which are there on Twitter for example like uh, you must have used you know Yahoo Yahoo Messenger few years uh, back <coughs> chat there used to be you know chat chat rooms and all so on Twitter as well you have those chat sessions which are there so for example like for example, if you search HR chat, you'll get you know uh, what all chats which are happening right now, and you can be part of those chat discussions, and you can always express your you know professional opinion, and you can read others' opinion as well on that particular topic. Okay, uh, one of the advantages Twitter gives you is to send unlimited you know, DMs to your followers, so people with whom you are connected, you can always interact with them on one-on-one -on -one basis. That's an uh, advantage you have. <coughs> it is always suggested that you should tweet some original thoughts on uh, on Twitter, which should not be always a copy paste from somewhere. But uh, you should always uh, showcase your original thoughts, reply, mention, retweet. So whenever you know you are, uh, someone is mentioning you, someone is uh, retweeting, you can always thank them back. So that's an etiquette there. Uh, you can join relevant chat. Uh, some people who are, you know, who like to participate in the contest and win, they can, uh, Twitter, they, they run a good number of contests as well. So you can, you know, uh, participate in the contest. And you can always follow top influencers uh, of the country or, or your industry and the career coaches as well. And you can interact with them. And uh, um, let me also mention that you know there are celebrities who are very active on, on these forums and you can you know directly interact with uh, some of the celebrities as well. Yeah. Okay. And importantly, you know, this online social media forums, it is good to connect with people, you know, online and then you know uh, importantly try to meet people you follow. If you can meet with the people in person, nothing like it. Okay, so you know there are five stages of Twitter users. So initially, people have uh, you know denial stage, which is uh, Twitter. No, I am more of a Facebook person, more of a you know LinkedIn person, and they say that Twitter not for me. But uh, out of curiosity, you know they, they join Twitter, they like it. Uh, then the moment comes, aha, moment I am liking it. You know, at times it becomes obsession as well. Uh, Twitter can be very addic addictive. And then let me tell you, it becomes a part of part of your life. So uh, I personally don't prefer uh, prefer Twitter. So and let me tell you, it's a part of life now. So when you look at this particular website, there are uh, you know over 200 million active users who are there. There are 500 million tweets a day which are there, and all the Fortune 500 companies have got their presence on uh, Twitter. And all the companies, you know, they regularly update these companies. They regularly update about uh, about their businesses, results, achievements uh, on Twitter. So you can always get an update by subscribing to those uh, you know Twitter handles. So there is a subscribe option which is there. So whenever the person or the Twitter handle tweets, you instantly get an alert that you know this person has updated their status. Okay. Uh, Okay, so when you when you tweet, for example, when you reply someone, and if, if you just reply uh, by mentioning the Twitter handle, that's a conversation between two of the people. It's a little technical stuff, but when you put a dot in front of you know that particular Twitter handle, that tweet is visible to uh, all the users. So that's something which you, which you can use. You can always check, you know. Uh, for the top 10, top 100, you know, influencers in your uh, industry or profession, and you can always connect with them through, uh, through Twitter. Okay. Uh, moving to Facebook, so let's say that you know, uh, as a friend, so always you know, post a status update to showcase your personality. You can like and share your know, interesting stuff. Uh, that's the place where you can showcase yourself, who you are, right? So you can you can showcase that, and. Look at you know Facebook as a place where you can learn about people. You can learn about you know culture. You can learn about you know their background, their life, uh, their interests. 
So if you are connected with some of the people in the organization also, you will learn that, okay, this person has these interests. So uh, it gives you lots of information about, about the person. Okay. Uh, now, you know, WhatsApp is part of, you know, Facebook. So when you look at Facebook Messenger as well as WhatsApp, they handle 60 million messages a day. So that's the traffic uh, which is there on uh, these, you know, big forms. And uh, Facebook, you know, you can always use the settings on, on uh, uh, Facebook uh, to, you know, keep separate your professional connections and the personal connection, what stuff you want to make it public or you want to, you know, Post it to the professional uh, connections or the personal uh, relation. So you can always use you know privacy setting on Facebook, and you can still use it for your professional advantage, right? Okay, you can always you know, use uh, a couple of pages, fan pages as well, to connect with you know uh, relevant people, and you can always prioritize the news feed which you want to receive on subject. And if you don't want to receive some of the topic or, or update on some of the topic, just mute that particular post. Okay, you know, there are different uh, symbols which we use. For example, hashtag is very relevant on uh, Twitter. Hashtag is very relevant on Instagram as well. Uh, but for example, if you use this uh, exclamation sign on Facebook, it is of no use. So when people put hashtag or exclamation sign on Facebook, uh, it is of no use, right? Whereas if you use this exclamation sign on LinkedIn, you will get 24% more response of the same post. So that, that's uh, interesting stuff. And hashtag, if you use on Twitter, you will get 193% more response on the same subject, same topic, same you know, words. So that's the advantage of you know, even using these symbols, uh, which is there. Okay, ask yourself. Now, you know, uh, you can always ask yourself, like, uh, how are you, you know, constantly portraying yourself on these uh, social media forums, right? Uh, <clears throat> you can always revisit, you know, your pages, your status update. If, if you find that, you know, something was irrelevant, was not supposed to be posted, you can always add it, delete it, right? Uh, you can always check what kind of you know, social media sites you are on and are you on the right uh, websites, uh, websites of like social media forum for that matter, right? Um, what kind of you know, conversation or discussion we are having, you can ask this, uh, this question to yourself. Uh, are you connecting with the right people? Are you having right conversation? Uh, are you gaining out of uh, that conversation from the people? It's something you can ask. Uh, you can, this is a very important point. Are you moving from just connecting to conversation to meeting? So when I am, you know, connected with someone on a social media forum, uh, am I having a conversation with that person or am I having just a connection? So we are just good as a Facebook friends. So is it that or, you know, are we communicating as well? Is this communication leading to some kind of a meeting as well, some kind of you know a professional connection or a personal connection, you can always check your connections. And uh, you know there are a couple of websites which are uh, meant for you know your, uh, checking your impact or your reach to your audience. So for example, I personally use cloud to check my reach uh, to my audience. Uh, there are a couple of more applications like Buffer with the Facebook Insight, Twitter Binder, Pocket. Uh, so you can connect all your social uh, media accounts uh, on this particular website. And whenever you post your status update, how many people have viewed? And it gives you an effectiveness score or an index score. So you can use that score to know if you know you are making an impact on social media. So again, these. Uh, these websites, uh, they have got uh, mobile applications as well, so you can have these applications on your mobile. Okay. And you can always ask, like, how my profile is looking in public. So you can, you know, get local with uh, social. Uh, create a social profile for uh, personal and professional branding. 
basically you know why are we using professional uh, these social media forums it's basically for our own branding so you can use you know appropriate uh, website you can google about yourself you know what kind of information is is there about you in the in the public domain so you can you can check that you can manage your you know online presence which is there you can connect with uh, you know industry professional you can create you know uh, your broadcast list on whatsapp because nowadays people are using whatsapp a lot to connect and communicate with people so it's all about you so social media is a reflection of what we are and it's a, it's a personal branding to let the world know what we want them to know you know you can always control that okay what you want to post what you want to you know uh, comment right so that's what your uh, own branding purpose and coming to you know interesting aspect which is the side effect of uh, you know social media so you know while uh, you will wish that you know you have more time more energy more content to be you know active on uh, all the social media forums so you will pray that okay uh, oh god give me you know more more time uh, more energy more hands more eyeballs you know track all my you know, social media accounts whereas there can be a flip side as well that uh, okay i have posted or i have booked up uh, on on you know uh, on the social media forum and then you know uh, people can have anxiety as well that you know i hope i posted this there so there can be side effect <coughs> so you know once there used to be three monkeys but now there are five monkeys which is like you know it says that post no evil or self no evil right and uh, one of the pro tip is don't post anything just for the sake of posting that's one number two if you are not going to say something in public don't post it on uh, any of the social media forum as well you just think of if you are going to you know say the same thing in public then only you post on uh, social media uh, don't offend choose to be neutral natural while giving you know extreme reactions we get very tempted to give you know very strong reactions uh, to the post so you know be very you know neutral natural when responding don't be an extremist to uh, respond and if you screw up on a social media forum you know it's, it's public it's just you know it reaches everyone very quickly and it happens with you know uh, not many politicians not many celebrities as well and we see those examples where you know they post particular uh, status update or a tweet or something and then they you know they go back and then they delete uh, your those uh, we suppose so they need to uh, you know all of us we need to be very careful of what we are posting and let me tell you you know all your followers are not always your fan right so some of the people they must be you know following you for with, with some you know uh, intention which are best known to them so you need to be very cautious who are the people who are following you who are the people you know you are uh, connecting uh on your accounts right and of course in the media there are uh, there are news there are you know lots of incidents where uh, for example one political party says something the other political party comes into picture and then you know there are uh, hate tweets or hate updates or hate you know responses which are there on a on a subject so there are troll armies which are there now so people engage you know uh, people just to you know uh just to you know damage someone else's you know opinion or an image so that's also there so there are troll armies which are there um, which are you know damaging even the reputation of others and importantly you know social media this can boost or hurt you you know professionally so you need to be very cautious about it uh, you should use it for you know uh, positive purposes Okay, uh, so with this, you know, I end my presentation. So I spent, you know, my best time because uh, I shared my some of my you know experience on uh, social media and some of my knowledge, some of my learning. Right, so it's time for me to close this uh, window. And okay, so.
that's it from my side and you can stay connected with me on uh, these uh, forums Yes, please. Uh, so basically, just wanted to know that how can we use Facebook uh, for hiring purposes? And can Facebook kind of replace not even unless those guys I don't have a web portal, job web portal, right? Can I use Facebook still to get some money? Uh, sure, you can create a company's page, your company's page uh, on Facebook. You can, you know, uh, showcase all, you know, all your activities, all the actions which are there inside your company. At the same time, you keep on posting, you know, your all the jobs, all the requirements there as well. Keep on, you know, uh, connecting with people uh, who can be, you know, uh, who can be interested to work with your company, and you can engage them actually. You can start the conversation with them. You can attract them by you know, showcasing uh, about their about your company. You can definitely do uh, do that and. Uh, I heard from some of the people that you know, at time people they don't even make you know their websites. They are just using you know LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter to engage uh, with the uh, with the targeting audience. Thank you. Yeah. Any other one has any questions? Thank you. Thanks for your time. <laughs>